I told you I'm not going to speak on things I don't know much about. But um, just a little theory, cause I think I I told you guys that he may go to he may get convicted of everything. I mean, if he has a a um agenda to turn the country around, if that's what they're saying he's going to do, I don't believe it. But if that's what he's going to do, they're going to do whatever they can to, to keep him from not running. You know, um, like I said, I'm very indifferent to it. I'm not going to really speak on him much anymore. But here's one prediction that I do have that may come true. Now, one of my subscribers said that he's not going to jail. And I'm going to say this. If you like him, that's fine. Go ahead and support him. But just understand this. Anything you do, anything you do in the name of Donald Trump, he is not getting your ass out of jail. I'm going to say this right now. Anything you do in the name of Donald Trump, if you loot a store, if you cause, if you incite a riot, if you attack a police officer, if you attack a, like five cops at once with a metal pole, or you punch a, a federal police officer in the face, they will lock your ass up and he's not going to help you. And they don't, they don't care who you are. They're going to lock your, your black ass up. They're going to lock your white ass up. They're going to lock your, your yellow ass up. They're going to lock your green ass up. They're locking you up if you if you think about doing anything, anything in the name of Donald Trump. They're locking you up. And let me say this again. You do something for another man who won't even acknowledge that you exist. Think about that. Yeah, yeah, your it was a video of this guy saying, "Take me instead. Take me instead. Lock me up." What the hell, man? He doesn't even know who you are. He would not do the same for you in a heartbeat. What I'm trying to get people to do, and it, it, it may not really, it, it may follow, it may fly over your head at first, but what sense does it make to go above and uh, out, of, out of your way? For another man, let's say he let's say he is president. Let's say he does get elected. How does that change your life? How does that benefit you? Because that's I said it before. No matter it be Biden, be Trump, be Hillary, Kamala Harris, whatever, shit is still going to be the same. Nothing is really going to change. Everything's going still going to be the same. Because it seems like when he was president, people had a problem with that. Now that he's not in an office, now they want him back in office. At least a lot of his haters are now um, his biggest supporters. See me? I supported him for the wrong reasons. I was thinking that that um, a Republican could really change the issues that go on in the black community. I'm, I, I was I was supporting him out of ignorance. And this is the thing. I will not support any politician from this day forth. Unless... You have an agenda that will clean up the black community. And I'll say it again. Just how everybody else can have policies geared strictly for their people. I feel like we should have the same way. We should have the same policies given to black people. If you're not getting these kids off the streets that are, that are selling drugs, that are causing havoc in the community. And you're not setting any policy to, to stop single mothers from having kids stop the violence that goes on in these communities to stop basically everything that makes black people leave the black community if you're not stopping these things i don't want to hear what you got to say because that's where i that's the only community that you are naturally accepted in as, as a black person it's a black community and it's part of america and we pay taxes if you're not doing anything to benefit that i don't want to hear what you got to say but i have a prediction that he may go to jail and I don't want to see him go to jail. I'm say this again. Don't want to see him go to jail. I don't wish that. I don't wish that on my worst enemy. But I got a. I got a prediction that either three things may happen. One, he may leave the country. He may leave the country. That's one thing. Two, it may turn out like some fucking Scarface, like the ending of Scarface. 
I said this before. I could really see Trump just like randomly, like like walking out of his um out of his house one day, right? With a robe on and slippers. And he'll just start fucking shooting people. One by one. He'll just be like, fuck it, man. I'm, I'm going to jail. I'm, I'm, I'm getting old. I'm, I'm almost fucking 80 years old. Shit, I might as well just fucking light the block up. Like, I see Trump killing people left and right. That's another scenario. So, fleeing the country, lighting the block up, or Jim Jones. <laughs> I can see that happening. <laughs> All his supporters... <laughs> I'm not, it's not funny, but I can see his supporters saying, like, what happened with Jim Jones? That's not funny, but I can really see, they, they were comparing him to Jim Jones. I can see some shit like that happening, like a, like a mass suicide pack. I can see some shit like that happening. And remember I said it because I said how he was going to get convicted because if he has a agenda to, to do better for the country, to turn it around, why would they want him to run? Why would they want him to get um, more control over the um, the migrant crisis? Like, why would they do that if and, and make him president if he's going to do that? So I knew they were going to convict him. And yet they may send him to jail. But once again, don't want him to go to jail. I just think the Republican Party, which I'm not voting for, needs a better. A better candidate. You, you could do a little better than him. 